Shalom, coming in the spirit and power of Yahweh Bahashim, Yahweh Shai Bahashim, Recha Kodash. Double honors to the apostles of Great Millstone and to the hopeful elect, pushing his word in truth and sincerity across the four corners of the earth. This lesson is going to be titled Seducing Spirits. Um, and seducing spirits come in many forms. All right, so let's just go into the word seduce or seducing. To persuade or vassal. I don't know what vassal means. I'm assuming it's the same synonym of uh, persuading, but let's see if we can look it up. Tenant who pledges fealty to a lord. Huh. Subject, subordinate, servant. That's interesting. Manservant, domestic, retainer, extend from vasus, servant, man, squire, youth, servant. Really, who one, literally, one who stands under. Hmm. A person holding a fief, a person who owns allegiance, who owes allegiance and service to a feudal lord. Interested. So to persuade of, to persuade of a cell. So be, oh, okay, slack. I actually read that wrong, but good thing you got the definition. To persuade of a cell, which is a servant. So to persuade a servant uh, to desire to desert his allegiance or service, lead away, lead astray, uh, aside away, to lead. To the sexual sense. Now the profiling one entice. Another word of seducing. To surrender of chastity. Yes, to surrender of chastity is a very good one. Because what does the word chastity mean? Now they're going sexual purity. That's one way to look at it, but it goes down to purity, right? Being pure. Right, because chast, right? You can keep going. It says uh, chastity, purity, purity. Yeah, so purity, right? So, you can go to, we're actually going to come back to that, but we're going to go to First Kings 11 and 4. Because that's what Solomon did. Solomon um surrendered his chastity spiritually right because like uh the scriptures talk about um yahweh shai and the elect yahweh shai is the bridegroom and the the elect well israel but more importantly the elect are the bride actually they're the elect of the bride getting their ready self ready for the bridegroom which is yahweh shai so spiritually it's like a it's a marriage right and parabolically talking about the bride and the bridegroom so it's the same thing with the relationship between um, Solomon and the Lord, right? Because Solomon's really Yahweh Shai in the reincarnation, um, right, in his past life, right? So Solomon to the Lord, it's the same thing. It's a marriage, right? But in a marriage, you want your your bride to be uh, to have uh, to be pure, not be touched, to be pure and be waiting for you, and then when she's with you. She's not defiled by any other man, right? She's only been with you. That's it, right? Because soon as she's been defiled or been, well, sleeps with another man, she's defiled, right? Now it's, it's spoiled land. So spiritually, Solomon uh, um, broke his chastity, right? And we're going to read about it. So 1 Kings 11 and uh, 4. For it, for it came to pass when Solomon was old that his wives turned slack. For it came to pass when Solomon was old that his wives turned away his heart, which is his mind, after other gods. I already know how the Most High is, Yahweh, right? You're not supposed to be worshiping other gods because as soon as you worship other gods, you go astray or you're led away to different doctrines and philosophies, and that's when you just fall off. That's, that just leads to more wickedness. And his heart, his mind, was not perfect with the Lord, his power, Yahweh. 
as was the mind of David, his father, right? And the point here, I'll go back, it says that his wives turned him away his heart. So his wives did it, right? It was through his wives. Now, in the day, Solomon still went off, but it was through those women. So isn't this the same story all over again with Adam and Eve? Same thing, right? Same thing. Now, the only difference is that Adam and Eve, Eve was in the transgression because she's the one that went off. But Adam is still the man, right? But it was through the woman because the woman's a weaker vessel. So it's the same thing that's happening here. Uh, verse 5, For Solomon went after Ashtaroth, the goddess of the Zidonians, and after Milcom, the abomination of the Ammonites, and Solomon did evil in the sight of Yahweh and went not fully after Yahweh, after the Lord, Yahweh, as did David his father. Then did Solomon build a high place for Chemosh, the abomination of Moab, in the hill that is before Jerusalem, and for Molech, the ab abomination of the children of Ammon. So he was doing all this stuff. It's all through, through his wives, you know, because they seduced him. Right, they seduced him. There, and this is when he was older. So he was older and up in age, right? So he was older. You know, maybe he wasn't. You know, I don't know how it was, but since he was older, I guess he, he slipped. You know, because you can't because these women can't have demons on them. So, because those are demons, right? And he just slipped, and then one slip could cause all these things to happen, right? Right. That's why you have to be circumspect. Uh, it's, I believe it's Ecclesiastes because it talks about, um, roughly paraphrasing, being circumspect in all matters, great or small. So this was a small thing that led to a big thing. Right? So that's why small or big, it's the same thing. You got to be circumspect about it. But you can see what's happening here. Like he's building uh, temples. He's going after different gods. Right? The Most High is watching him. So he broke his chastity. Right? Now, just because you make a mistake, it doesn't mean you keep going, right? You make a mistake, okay, you stop, you apologize, you know, ask for mercy, and then you come back to the right way. But that's not what happened here, right? That's not what's happening. He's just doing more and more and more. Um, verse 8, And likewise did he for all his strange wives, which burnt incense and sacrificed unto their gods. And the Lord Yahweh was angry with Solomon because his mind was turned from the Lord, power of Israel, which had appeared unto him twice. Wow. So the Most High appeared to, to Solomon. He appeared to him twice. And he still did this. And had commanded him concerning this thing, that he should not go after other gods. But he kept not that which the Lord commanded. Wow. Wow. <laughs> wow. So he disobeyed. He disobeyed a direct order. Right? It's almost like he's see, seeing what happened. He's like, yo, you gotta, you know, send his angels. Come talk to Solomon. He's like, yo, look, you're, you you got to stop, man. He didn't listen. Right? Wherefore, the Lord, Yahweh said unto Solomon, for as much as this is done of thee, and thou hast not kept my covenant and my statutes, which I have commanded thee, I will surely rend the kingdom from thee and will give it to thy servant. So he was warned. He didn't listen. And he kept on going. And now it's like, well, you had your chances. He got two chances. He, had, he got two chances. He didn't listen. So the third time is judgment. That's why three means understanding. <laughs> You're going to understand you messed up. So this is an example of like through women right, is a form of seducing spirits, right, so now we're going to go to First Timothy, that's why it's, um, actually we were talking about it in camp yesterday, you know, a lot of men have been taken out of the truth because of women, right, because they, they look good, they make you feel good, right, and once you have a woman, you start to care things about the world, because she's of the world, Right? She wants to go to this place. She wants to go to that place. Right? Oh, she wants to go on the vacation. Right? 
And right now, for to do those things, like vacations especially, like you have to travel, you need to take the, I believe you have to have the, the jab. If you don't have it, you can't travel. But she wants to travel. You love her. You know, she, 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 her, her life has been rough. You know, it's been a rough pandemic for her. She's trying to travel. Oh, you want to make her feel good because you love her. You're like, oh, okay, it's just, it's just a jab. I'm not taking the mark of the beast, right? I'm not taking the mark. It's just a jab. It's okay. Most I, I know, but it's, you know, tech, I'm, not, I'm not going off. Then you start to tell yourself these things. And that's just a demon, right? It's a demon. It's a flesh, right? Because you are going off. You're not supposed to take any, any type of jab in your body anyways. That's against the commandments. And that's a commandment you can follow. So you're going against something that you can actually do. So you're going off. And then you keep going off and going off. And that's it. It's just a downward world spiral. But it's through a woman. Right? So 1 Timothy 4 and 1. Now the Spirit speaketh expressly that in the latter times some shall depart from the faith, giving heed to seducing spirits. Right? So sometimes the Spirit will just jump on you. It will just be a, the Spirit. Like, it will just jump on you, start talking in your head, you know, the demon. And you think it's your own voice. Sometimes it'll come through a woman. You have a woman, right? And she's telling you she wants to do this. And then the same thing will happen, right? However it happens, it's a seducing spirit. But right now we're just talking about women, right? And doctrines of devils, yep. Then she'll start to talk to you. she say, oh, it's okay, da da da, da. It's not really, you know what I mean? You get you in your emotions and stuff because you care about it. And just other things can happen. Um, but I, I read this because of what happened with Solomon. Because those are seducing spirits that led him to do all those things. And he was and he was warned. That's the other thing too, right? So that's another example. He was warned. The most the most high uh, Yahweh warned him twice. You know? Twice. He appeared and he warned him. But that's the thing. Like when you, once you make that first mistake, especially when it's with women, because they look good, they make you feel good, you love her, right? That's your woman, that's your possession. You know, and you're constantly thinking, you're constantly around her too. It's hard to see uh, um, outside of your, your scenario, right? Because you're in it. So if the most I really cares about you, he's going to send you messages to tell you like, yo, you need to stop, which is what happened with Solomon. But he was so far in that he didn't listen because he cared about his woman more than he cared about the most high. That's another mistake there too. You're supposed to care about the, the Yahweh, Yahweh about Shem Yahushai. Um, period. Even your own family, your own your own women, whatever, right? Because at the end of the day, you're gonna have to pick and choose. You're gonna have to choose between Yahweh, Bashim Yashai, or or the world, because your woman's of the world. He picked the the world, and that's what happened, right? So you have to be careful, and you have to be circumspect when because you'll if if Yahweh Bashim Yashai really cares about you, and you are going off in some way, shape, or form that you are clearly not aware of. He will send someone to tell you, to warn you, because that's chastising, right? You know, rebuke, oh, um, another scripture is uh, open rebuke is better than secret love, right? So he'll come, you'll send someone. When that happens, you need to, well, really, you, you know, it's through the most high whether you listen or not. But, you know, you have to pray that, you know, he keeps that spirit on you, spirit on you that you're able to see, right? Because if you're part of the elect... End of the day, you will see it when that message is being sent, and you'll see it, and you'll be aware that you know you need to rebalance yourself, right? That you're going off, right? And you'll be able to see what's going on in your scenario because it's hard, it's hard sometimes. You're in the midst of the scenario, you can't see. Uh, second Thessalonians 2 and 3 let no man deceive you by any means. That it says man, but also it means woman too, man or woman. Let no man deceive you by any means. So whether they, um, now we're talking about women, but whether she starts crying, getting emotional, says she's going to leave you, says she's going to take your kids, your, your children, you know, says she's going to report you to the cops, whatever the case may be, right? To make you do something that go against your help by Shemiel Shai, you can't let her do that, right? Whether it's a woman or a man, Right? Because that's deception. It's just playing on your emotions to trick you into going off and breaking the commandment. Because that's the whole point. Because it's a demon. 
It's just trying to make you go off. That's all it's trying to do. It's going to try any type of tactic it can do to trick you into doing it. Which that's what the word deceive means. It's trickery. You know? For that day shall not come, except there come a falling away first, and that the man of sin be revealed the son of perdition. And the man of sin is, uh, you know, uh, Satan, you know, the devil, which is Esau, Esau, Edom. Right. So um, that's it on that. It was a quick one, but a very important one. You have to be careful because these women, yeah, they look nice and everything like that. But at the end of the day, you have to remember, like, yo, if you have to pick and choose, if they're saying they're going to take that, that uh, the mark, right? Like, yeah, I'm going to go take that mark, you know, because I want to travel. It's like, oh, okay, well, that's it. Hey, he's like, are you going to, are you, aren't you coming with? He's like, no, I'm not doing that. No, I'm not doing that. Period. I'm not doing it. Right? Don't fall into that trap because you care about her. You don't want her to get destroyed. Right? Like, if she's taking the marks, she's going to be destroyed anyways. You know? That, that's it on that anyway. So I don't want to ramble. But um, I hope this lesson was edifying to the hopeful elect. I'd like to close out by saying, Ka hala yahawo, bahashem yahawo shai, bahashem kakwadash, double honors to the apostles of Great Millstone, and to the hopeful elect, pushing his word in truth and sincerity across the four corners of the earth, death and destruction to his wicked kingdom. And two thirds as well. Kwam Yasharala, Abad Babal, Shawam.